Broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, or the ramparts we've watched, were so gallantly streaming. Students, family, and staff, and most importantly, congratulations to the class of 2020. This graduation ceremony today is not what we expected and is not like any of us have ever experienced, but it is in no way any less special. This year's graduating class has distinguished itself not only academically, but in its collective response to COVID-19 and the pain and uncertainty that came with it. The class of 2020 has distinguished itself by its compassion, kindness, and concern for others. When the school day ended on March 13th, none of us knew it would, in fact, be the last day of classes for the year. The day itself began the way every other day of your time at Adams did, entering through the cafeteria, going to first and second period classes, and listening to morning announcements. And just like they did every other Friday, the announcements that particular school day ended with, have a fantastic Friday, John Adams, and don't forget to raise the bar. Raise the bar. It's an expression you heard almost every day you were in Adams, but you may have never stopped to reflect on what it really means. Well, I would suggest that you, the class of 2020, have given all of us an outstanding example not only what it means to raise the bar, but a shining example of how to do it as well. To raise the bar is to try your best, to leave places better for your having been there, people better for having known you, and to continually strive to make yourselves the best you can possibly be. To raise the bar is to be welcoming, be mindful, and be the solution. Something else you probably heard at Adams. And most importantly, to raise the bar is what we as a society need most right now. You don't need me to tell you that New York, the United States, and the world are living through extremely difficult times right now. While the world has seen difficult times in the past, and will see more in the future, that can be small consolation in the present time. President Barack Obama, quoting the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr., said, the arc of the moral universe is long, but bends towards justice. While this goal and hope of a more just future gives encouragement and strength, we cannot neglect our role in bending that arc to justice. It is up to us to address the injustices and inequalities at our moment in history. You were born into the world in a certain place and at a particular time and obviously have no control over the where and the when. What we all have control over, though, is how we respond to the important events of our times. Will you ignore what happens to others and focus solely on your own wants? Will you surrender to a sense of helplessness and despair? Will you decide it's too difficult or maybe too tiring to work for change and instead live your life in a bubble of ignorance? 
not knowing or caring what goes on around you? Or will you perhaps, in the words of Mahatma Gandhi, be the change you wish to see in the world? Or to put it into the words of John Adams High School, will you work to raise the bar? As we move forward with your graduation ceremony, it is more than fitting to focus on the here and now and what you have achieved under extraordinary circumstances. When you wake up tomorrow morning and when you wake up every morning afterwards, I would ask you to give some thought, if even just a brief one, to what you will do to make your place in the world and your time in history better for, having, for your having been there. And my hope for you is that you will find the emotional, physical, and moral strength to do just that. In closing then, I'd like to say, have a great graduation, John Adams, and don't forget to raise the bar. Hello to John Adams High School. This is Senator Chuck Schumer, and it's my honor to address the teachers and staff families and friends of the graduates, but most of all, you, the class of 2020. Now, I'm really sorry that I can't join you in person, but I'm grateful that modern technology allows us to still be connected on this very special day. The fact that we're all finding new ways to do things, like celebrating this graduation virtually, just goes to show you that New Yorkers won't let anything, anything, stop us from honoring what's so important in life. Now, first, I'd like to say a word to the parents. Nothing, nothing will take away your decades of hard work raising your children, for which they and all of us are so very grateful. And while this day may be tempered by worries about the future, at least there's one silver lining. You're not seated way in the back. You get to sit next to your son or daughter and give them a hug as they receive their diploma and become an adult before your very eyes. So congratulations to the moms and dads. Now to the class of 2020. As we all know, these are really difficult times, perhaps more difficult than most of us have ever experienced. A global pandemic, an unprecedented economic slowdown, and the urgent need to confront head on the bigotry and inequality in our society. Right now, the uncertainty of the present and future is scary. You may not know what's gonna come next, but one thing's always been certain. As you begin to go through life, there will always be new opportunities and some will appear in ways you never imagined. It's natural to fear the unknown, but don't let the uncertainty of this current moment prevent you from finding those opportunities, reaching out and grabbing them. They're out there, and don't forget, you have incredible assets, great education, and loving families who will always have your back through thick and thin. You have the passion to change the world, and we have faith in you. So to the graduates, I say, Never stop fighting for what you believe in. Congratulations, good luck, and Godspeed. What's up with you guys, man? This is Zach Levine. I just want to give a shout out to our Adidas Legacy family for graduating. It's a real tough time right now, man, but we continue to uh, support each other. Go out there, set your goals, have fun, but above all, be safe. Um, you know, I always want to just say congratulations. It's a, it's a big achievement, and, uh, you know, keep pushing forward. Hi guys, Miss Gallup here. Hi guys, Cozy, Mr. Zuckerman here. Hey guys, Mr. Kupak here. Congratulations to all of our pre-med grads. Your degree symbolizes the completion of the first phase of your life. You are now part of society. You are now responsible for the world we live in. We challenge you to become lifelong learners. Education like life is a journey. As you grow, you will learn, and as you learn, you will grow. As you experience the people, places, and things in your life, they're also experiencing you. How will they experience you? We hope you are all the positive change our world needs. We challenge you all to be the positive change we need in our city, in our nation, and in our world. Once again, congratulations, guys. We are so proud of you. We will miss you so much. Please come back and visit. Love, your SLC leadership team. Congrats, C-Tech class of 2020. You have overcame extraordinary challenges this year to get here. 
now an exciting future awaits you all. All the best from myself and the rest of the CTEC staff. Congrats. Congratulations, class of 2020. I wish you all the best on your new adventure that's about to begin. Thank you. Hey, CTEC, congratulations on making it through four years of John Adams High School. We are so proud of you. We wish you nothing but the best in the upcoming years and whatever you plan on doing, give it 100%. Good luck. Congratulations, Class of 2020. This year has definitely been a unique experience and you guys have worked extremely hard to get through it. So once again, me and every single staff member of John Adams is so proud to call you guys John Adams graduates. And for my semi-B kids out there, man, I still remember you guys in my global class four years ago. You guys were shy, quiet, naive, but look at you now. You guys are champions. You guys are leaders of the world. And I'm so proud to know each and every single one of you. So once again, class of 2020, congratulations and good luck. Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Barrera, the guidance counselor for the STEM IB program. I would like to congratulate the class of 2020. It has been a crazy year, but you guys did it. Woo! Best of luck in all you do. And remember that you could always achieve the impossible. To my STEM IB students, I will miss you all dearly, but I'm sending you lots of positive vibes, lots of happiness and lots of success. I am also sending you lots and lots of hugs. <laughs> Once again, congratulations to everybody. Woo! Class of 2020, I cannot believe this day is actually here. I know there were a lot of frustrations and disappointments this year. It did not turn out the way you expected, but through it all, you persevered regardless of your circumstance. So as you go out ready to conquer the world, I want you to remember that you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Congratulations. We love you. We miss you. Please come visit when you can. Congratulations to everybody who's graduating out there, even though due to these unusual circumstances. Viewers, seniors, athletes, everybody else, you did it, you made it through. Congrats again and stay safe. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm so happy and excited for your success. Be proud of your hard work and achievements. Can't wait to see what the future holds for you. Hey all, Mr. Mullen here. I just want to say to all my law students in the graduating class of 2020, you did it. You're here. This is what all that hard work was for. There's no more bells. There's no more assignments. No more teachers. No more directors telling you what to do. None of that. All that hard work has paid off. In the future, follow your dreams. Do what you love. Don't let anybody ever tell you what you should be doing. Congratulations and good luck. Hi guys, it's Feliciano here from the Law Academy. I just want to congratulate you all for a job well done. You have go above and beyond uh, with all the curves that you've been thrown at this year. And um, I'm very proud of you for all your accomplishments. Um, I wanna wish you all the best in your future and we're gonna miss you. Hope to see you soon sometime, bye-bye. Hi, this is Ms. Munoz. I want to say congratulations to the class of 2020. I am so proud of you. You guys came from a different country, learned a new language, and today you're graduating from high school. Hi, this is Mr. Chowdhury. Uh, I've been tracking your progress for the last four years alongside your guidance counselors. I'm so proud of you that you guys graduating this year, and with all the hard time that we had with remote learning, you guys still made it. And I'm so proud of you. Good luck everything with everything that you do in college. Hey guys, hey guys, this is Mr. Polino here. Congrats to the class of 2020. And I wish you the best in the future and keep shooting for the stars. Hey, this is Mr. Bustillo. You shout out to the class of 2020. I'm extremely proud of your accomplishment, especially during this COVID-19 time that you will never forget. Watching you develop and grow since ninth grade, it's been a pleasure. Keep raising the bar. Hi, class of 2020. Congratulations. On behalf of Mr. Dauber, Ms. Pinto, 
myself and Miss Libretta, we would just like to extend our deepest congratulations to you. We are so proud of everything that you've accomplished, especially during a pandemic. Uh, while I know that this is not necessarily the way that any of us would wanted graduation to happen, um, we wanted to make sure that we marked the day. We wanted to make sure that it was something special. You guys are an incredible class and you will be greatly missed at John Adams. And if you ever need anything, feel free to call. Hello, class of 2020. Just want to give you guys a humongous congratulations. You guys did it. I'm so proud of you. I'm going to miss you guys so much. I know we didn't end the year the way that we usually do, but nevertheless, we are still celebrating you. I love you guys. Hey, media seniors. This is Mrs. Marcella. I miss you guys. I just wanted to say congratulations and good luck. Congratulations, I'm so proud everyone's graduating. Just don't give up on your dreams. I know you will do amazing things. I can't wait to see all the wonderful things that you guys are gonna do. Bye. Congratulations, class of 2020 Media SLC. Just wanna leave you with one note. Go confidently in the direction of your dreams and live the life you have imagined. There's nothing you guys can't do. You guys have shown me so much in the past four years. I remember having you guys in my global history class in my second year teaching. You guys have all been amazing. Anything you guys need, feel free to call. Don't hesitate to come visit. I'm gonna miss each and every one of you. Again, congratulations class of 2020. students, teachers, parents, and friends. My name is Daedrian Cole, and I'm honored to stand before you all as a salutatorian of the John Adams graduating class of 2020. Sometimes we forget to place value in a moment until it becomes a distant memory that we try to fiercely grip with both hands, refusing to let the residue of joy and happiness fade away. Many of us have now realized the moments we all experienced in high school have somehow been scribed onto our hearts catapulting us into a never-ending film of our valuable years. As this hallmark of our lives expects a feeling of nostalgia that looms over our hearts, it is important to leave room for future memories. Flipping through the scrapbook of our lives may elicit a feeling that we want to hold on to forever. However, we must acknowledge the beauty of the transient nature of our memories and look forward to making new ones. Consequently, we, as a generation that will now carry the legacy on of those before us, must learn to maintain equilibrium between the past and the future. Being stuck in the past is the anesthesia that deadens the ignorance one holds towards our future. Therefore, we must not uphold the idea that ignorance is bliss. We must carry the baton proudly on to the next generation and maintain the balance between our past and our future by being firmly rooted in the present. It feels like just yesterday that we were all bright-eyed 13-year-old middle school graduates eager to go off into the world and explore the delicacies of adolescence. Now that we have conquered the imaginations that our younger selves conjured, I know the surreality of it all has plagued your minds with doubts about your future. However, this event does not signify the end of our lives. Instead, it highlights the fact that this is merely the beginning of our journey to success. As we embark on this journey together, we must be aware of the difficulties we may face on this road called life. How should we proceed when it seems impossible to mitigate our challenges? The answer is to boldly accept the challenge that the universe has deemed us strong enough to face. We must rise to the occasion with our heads held high and our souls saturated with the determination necessary to overcome. Failure is not the monster that society paints it out to be. It is a wave that washes over your mind, enabling you to capitalize on your own weakness to achieve the impossible. Failure is a condiment that adds flavor to your success. It makes you realize that you can learn from a past experience and do better. Acknowledging this is essential as it efficaciously highlights the inevitability of failure in the pursuit of success. Furthermore, it is important for us to understand that there is not one big cosmic meaning for all. There is only the meaning we give to our lives, an individual meaning, an individual plot, like a book for each person that we are all given pens to write. The universe provides with us with all the tools necessary, so write your own future. Do not allow the unprecedented nature of our graduation to hinder you from achieving your goals. 
In fact, we should embody the unprecedented path that the global pandemic has imposed upon us and strive to do the things once thought to be impossible. As I envision the futures of a graduating class of 2020, I see individuals who will achieve incomparable feats. I see a future biochemist who will find a cure for AIDS. I see a future teacher who will mold the young minds of the next generation. I see a future astrophysicist who will solve the mystery of the missing baryons. I see a future marine biologist discovering the 80% of the currently unmapped ocean. I see a future Congress member working hard to create legislation in order to eradicate the social injustices that exist in today's society. Most importantly, I see a group of global citizens who greatly desire to be a catalyst for change. I am grateful to be in this graduating class. It is a privilege and a pleasure to be amongst individuals with an unlimited potential to leave an indelible mark on today's society, thus raising the bar for generations to come. Being around students who boldly adhere to Gandhi's philosophy of embodying the change they wish to see in the world has inspired me to strive for greatness. As we turn this page of our lives together, I would like to impart a saying that formed the foundation of my morals and values. Flagrans Veritatis Studio, which is Latin for the ardent desire for truth. I hope you all take steps to discover the truth in order to explore your purpose and respond to life's calling. As you set out on your journey to self-discovery, I hope that you ignite the spark within yourself that outshines all things thought to be impossible, and that your hearts burn with the zeal for the truth of your own greatness. As I conclude my speech, I would like to leave you all with a quote by Aristotle, who said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. Continue to strive for excellence and greatness. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Good afternoon, Mr. Scanlon, administration, teachers, faculty members, alumni, family, distinguished guests, dear friends, and most of all, fellow graduates. My name is Tuiba Bego, and it is a great honor to be here before you as the valedictorian of class of 20. Congratulations, fellow graduates. This has been a crazy year, but after going through many ups and downs, and most of all, overcoming and fighting the pandemic, we are finally graduating. I want to thank all our teachers and guidance counselors who showed us great love and always believing in us, our friends, for being so helpful and making our high school journey so memorable that we will cherish that forever. Special thanks to our family, for supporting and always appreciating every success and failure that we have shared. Thank you to each one of you who have put their best efforts forward to make sure we are achieving success during these four years of high school. When Mr. Scanlon and Mr. Dwyer informed me about being the valedictorian, I was shocked as I wasn't expecting this at all. My heart was pounding. But this excitement lasted for a few minutes as I realized I have to prepare a speech and deliver it in front of 1,000 people. After searching Google and YouTube for good valedictorian speeches, I was thankfully able to put some words on paper. Soon I realized that those speeches weren't from me, so I'm here to tell you a little bit about myself. Three years ago, when I was admitted to John Adams as a sophomore, I wasn't happy at all. I couldn't imagine fitting into this new environment and becoming accepted. There are so many new faces to know and love. As an immigrant from Bangladesh, settling in the United States, I never imagined speaking English and understanding other backgrounds and cultures. I was struggling due to my language barrier. I was nervous and confused. But while being motivated by my friends, who always made me laugh, and my teachers inspiring me, I didn't give up. I gave my best each and every day, which is why today, I'm here as the valedictorian. Just like Oprah Winfrey said, don't run behind success, follow excellence, success will automatically follow you. Unfortunately, we have seen pretty frightening things during these last few months. Through all of this, we have learned to stay true to ourselves while acknowledging everyone else's background, cultures, and religions. We need to continue to educate ourselves while educating others. Focusing on studies doesn't mean that we should surround ourselves Within the four walls of a classroom, we must make ourselves aware of our surroundings. A funny reminder of my friend calling me highlighter because when my friend asked me to give her a makeup highlighter, I handed her my yellow highlighter as I didn't have any clue what a makeup highlighter was. So my advice is to take every chance, learn something new and try stepping out of the box. 
Always remember to take risk, but be careful. Also, value relationship and spread love with people around you. As Mother Teresa said, spread love everywhere you go. Let no one ever come to you without living happier. We are at the end of our high school life, which is both a happy and sad moment. Happy in the sense as we are taking the biggest step towards our future, but sadly we are leaving behind those amazing experiences and happy faces of everyone at John and Rose. We surely will miss Mr. Prasad saying, Dumbness, Miss Bathurst, the beauty of men. I'll miss those funny moments when Mr. Oak Choudhury would kick us out from his office for being too loud, and especially my giggling squad. As we are heading towards a new beginning, in a different situation, we might face difficulties. We might struggle to make a place for ourselves among others, but we should not give up without trying. As Thomas Edison said, many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. Last but not least, I would like to thank John Arms High School for presenting us with such an amazing four years with extraordinary memories. And I'm proud to be a Spartan. Farewell everyone, stay healthy, stay safe, and keep raising the bar. Hello, Mr. Dwyer here, school counselor and college advisor. It is my distinct pleasure to be with you today to celebrate the John Adams High School graduating class of 2020. To the graduating class, you are a group of young people who has shown a tremendous amount of resolve over the past several months, overcoming significant challenges and hardships. But our circumstance in no way should overshadow all of the great accomplishments that you've achieved over the past several years both individually and as a group. If this pandemic has shown us anything, it is that you are a talented group of special young people who are well prepared and well capable of achieving whatever goals you set for yourself. So without further delay, I'd like to recognize some of that accomplishment. Firstly, I would like to recognize our valedictorian, Toiba Begum, and our salutatorian, Daydream Cole, for all of your hard work and effort over the past several years. It is very impressive to me, and I'm proud of you both, that you should end up at the top of the class academically, a class that is extremely talented and brings an awful lot to the table. The first award I'd like to present tonight is the John Adams High School Three-Year Academic Award. This award recognizes outstanding academic achievement for a student or students graduating in three years. This year's award has two recipients, Tarmila Bowlers and Narsaya Subramani. The next award is the William Clark Award. The William Clark Award recognizes a student who has shown excellence in scholarship, character, service, and leadership in athletics. This is a monetary award, which I am proud to present to Amari Patterson. The next award is the Marie Keller Award, which recognizes outstanding student, an outstanding student's service and cooperation to student government. This award goes to Farhan Eka. The George Wilder Award recognizes a graduating student who best represents the ideals of the National Honor Society. And this year's George Wilder Award goes to Jade Vincent. The next award is the Richard Welling Award, which is awarded to one student who has demonstrated outstanding citizenship, service, and leadership in the school's government or in the Chancellor's Student Advisory Council activities. The 2020 Richard Welling Award goes to Janelle Albert. The next three awards are all memorial awards that have a monetary value attached to them. The first award, is named after a graduate of John Adams High School who unfortunately passed away in a tragic accident. His spirit is kept alive today through the Kelvin DeBorg Memorial Award given each year to a graduating senior who has demonstrated tremendous personal growth. This year's Kelvin DeBorg Memorial Award goes to Kyle Sihorak. The next award is also named after a former John Adams High School student who passed away much too young. It honors outstanding achievement in the area of the dramatic arts. And this year's Chuka 
Uzugwe Memorial Award goes to both Jonathan Jetter and Kalia Allen. Our last award this, this evening is also a Memorial Award named in honor of Mr. Channon P. Imrith, a good and gentle man who was a longtime math teacher here at John Adams High School. Mr. Imrith recently passed away. However, his legacy of helping others lives on in this Memorial Award, which is awarded to two graduating seniors interested in pursuing their passion and becoming educators. It is my distinct pleasure to present the first annual Mr. Channon P. Imrith Award to Joanna Diaz Guzman and Taina Machicote. That concludes our awards portion of the ceremony. I'd like to congratulate all of our awardees, and I would also like to congratulate all of the members of the John Adams High School Spartan Class of 2020. Thank you very much. Greetings. I am State Senator James Sanders Jr. and I'm proud to be joining you today at the 2020 graduation of John Adams High School in beautiful South Ozone Park, Queens, part of the district that I represent. That means all of you sitting there are my bosses. I work for the people of this district and that means I work for you, helping to pass laws that better our community and our state. But I'm not here to talk about me. Today it's all about you. You may not realize it, but on this day, your graduation from high school will be one of your proudest accomplishments, and there will be many. It's here that you developed your education, made friends, and made decisions that will help shape your future. Many of you are going to college, trade school, the military, other places. That's wonderful. I wish you all the success in the world. If you're going to a, a trade school, outstanding. Some are considering the military. I myself am a Marine Corps veteran. Whatever your path in life, always remember to lead both with your mind and your heart, and you have the power to change the world. Today, we're finding that there are really problems in the world. You got COVID-19. You have uh, the killings of these police killings. My friends, don't mourn, organize. Don't spend your time traumatized. Get out there and become the change that you want to see in the world. Dedicate your life to a larger, greater purpose. Say that the good Lord created you and you are going to make a change. Why not go for the beloved community, a community where people are judged by the color of their, their the color of their skin is no more important than the color of their eyes. Uh, Judge people by the content of their character rather than the color of their skin. My friends, we all have something to be proud of, and we all have something that we need to atone for. So I'm encouraging you to take it upon yourself to say, I graduated in a time of great turmoil. I graduated in a time that society was changing. I am here to be the change that generations before me were talking about. You, my friends, are the prayers that your ancestors dreamed. You are the prayer. You embody the very traditions, the greatness of your people. Now you need to bring this greatness to this great country and make it better still. It's a great country, but it has a lot that it needs to be fixed, that needs to be fixed. And you know what? That's why you're here. You are going to help fix this. So my friends, this is named, this school is named after John Adams. He helped start it, uh, a revolution. Uh, this school was founded in 1930. You know, that was a great depression. And many great people have walked through these doors and sat right here. Folk like Jimmy Breslin, an acclaimed columnist for the New York Herald and the Daily News and a bunch of other stuff. He won the Pulitzer Prize. Richard Parsons, an international business leader. Uh, man, he was a presidential advisor. The actor Jackie Gleason. Uh, the actress, Bernadette Peters, the professional basketball player, Jermaine Turner, the list goes on. But you know, the greatest name has not been done yet. The greatest name is yours.
When you take your place upon the world stage, you have all the potential for great success. And with time, dedication, and perseverance, you will be amazed at what you can accomplish. Uh, in closing, I like to say this. My friends, I'm proud of you. I'm really proud of you. Your community is proud of you. And I'm just grateful that you guys stop for just a few seconds and let me share this special day with you. Um, we're proud of you. We look forward to you changing the world. Don't let us down. God bless you all. Joshua Abdul. Ashley Abreu Cordero. Samir Akbar. Madeline Adamez. Cassidy Agar. Hadija Ahmed. Moriam Ahmad. Nafseen Ahmed. Shiroz Ahmed. Tamida Ahmed. Ezadine Albarmaki. Foisul Alam. Janella Albert. Luis Albino. Joel Alcivar. Mandadivi Algu. Abdul Rahman Ali. Kiana Ali. Vanessa Alicia. Alia Alex Fanesca. Kalia Allen. Alia Ali. Eshar El Maleki. Johan Alvarez. Sofia Amarula. Jalen Anduhar. Anthony Anarud. Shurjil Anwar. Oliver Aparicio. Nathaniel Aponte. Mariam Opsiauri. Justin Aracena. Andy Arias Reynoso. Ria Aurora. Sanchit Aurora. Tushar Aurora. Abigail Astwood. Lillian Atonal. Dave Kumar Altaram. Brian Ibar. Samuel Ibar. Azifa Aziz. Randy Balkasun. 
Anissa Balmakun. Bisem Bonwari. Steven Barrios. Vierno Barry. Tajay Bartley. Felix Batista. Josiah Bedesi. Rochelle Beckford. Hajara Begum. Nagifa Begum. Toiba Begum. Kavita Bahari. Ryan Belgrave. Mart Bertran. Michelina Begelu. Ajay Bagarat. Johnny Bagwant. Joshua Boj. Alina Bilal. Elijah Birchwood. Alfonso Bizono. Regina Bisram. Ryan Bassoon. Jonathan Bissou. Shamar Blackman. Tarmilla Bowlers. Salia Boudram. Jafari Bowen. Kayvon Brantley. Isabella Braun. Jennifer Bravo. Sohani Bridge Law. Shane Broomfield. Matthew Brown. Devindra Budharam. Brandon Budial. Koshi Budram. Edward Burgess. Anthony Bucks. Darling Kaba. Kimberly Kahilima. Paola Calderon. Tyra Caleb. Jose Capayan. Keisha Carlisle. Damian Carone. Izara Carr. Liana Casanova. Samantha Castillo. Diani Castillo. 
Alexandra Castro. Yasmin Castro. Durwanti Chandaram. Cindy Channon. Jennifer Chavez Zapeda. Shaneda Checo. Shaden Chestnut. Brianna Chisholm. Samia Chowdhury. Janine Clark. Paisley Codrington. Amber Copresi. Adrian Cole, Patrice Collins Larrymore, Chris Cologne, Diamond Cologne, Akelia Cooper. Marta Cortez. Ashera Cox. Victoria Cruz. Maria Curiel Munoz. Skylar Curry. Jalen D. Avilar. Sue Suila Daly. Olivia Davis. Kevin De La Cruz. Angel Delgado. Aliyah Dimandanza. Sarah Diolal. Jahida Da Silva. Gerlinci Desroches. Umar Diallo. Alexander Diaz. Anna Diaz. Randy Diaz Emeterio. Joanna Diaz Guzman. Vishnu Diltar. Gianna DiMaggio. Vanessa Diarza. Giselle Dominguez. Josiah Dunn. Jailene Duran Ortiz. Candacy Dutchen. Cherishma Dwarka. Danielle Dwyer. Varhan Eka. Omar Elgarab. Katrina Ellis. Omar El Sherbini. Chijoki Emananjor. 
Rigoberto Enamorado Rodriguez. Genesia Epps. Yanabel Espinal. Jovan Eugene. Nazmun Eva. Faith Fakeye. Ronald Feliz. Lershawn Ferdinand. Jack Fernandez. Mariah Flowers. Mohammed Fofana. Shaheem Fox. Janelle Francis. Benverly Francois. Siraj Freddy. Oliver Gabino Mesa. Abdur Gafar. Brittany Ganesh. Jonathan Gangadin. Ulysses Garcia Alvarez. Juliana Garcia Alvarez. Sergio Garcia Ordonez. Brian Gaviria. Vanessa Germain. Rashid Ghani. Juan Geraldo. Jordan Gibbons. DJ Gladwin. Darisa Gonzalez. Gianna Gonzalez. Timothy Gonzalez. Valerie Gonzalez. Jason Gonzalez Persaud. Gomati Gopal. Lutindra Gopal. Marquis Graham. Soraya Griffith. Andrea Guembez. Joshua Guerrero. Jorge Guido Mejia. Evelyn Gillen. Brita Gutierrez. Natalia Gutierrez. Sandro Guzman. Ashley Guzman Adames. Ryan Hamid. Suhada Hamid. Shade Hansen. William Hardeen. Parshram Hardwar. 
Rajesh Harinath, Shivani Harkishan, Teresa Harper, Bibi Halwadar, Deshaun Hater Singh. Michelle He Zion Henderson Cheyenne Hercules Jason Hernandez Johanna Hernandez Kayla Hernandez, Jania Hines, Maurice Hines, Christina Hitnerine, Daniel Holland. Giselle Hauser, Hisanuddin Howlader, David Wacon, Imdad Hussein, Travis Hussein. Indal Rauf Isa Fahim Islam Sadia Islam Jordan Jackson Ian Jagaya Anais Jankasun Satya Devi Jainath Kuldeep Jassi Ashanti Jefferson Magdalena Jerome Jonathan Jeter Amado Jimenez Julesi Jimenez Maria Optihal Joba Imani Joda Felina Johnson Hanan Kasim Bashar Kasim Manjinder Kaur Raiden Khan Mariam Khan Hassan Coker Jashana King Rebecca Che Aliyah Lakhan Weedley LeBlanc Brian Lima Nicholas Leonard Ricardo Lewis 
James Lilly. Maria Lorenzo. Fernando Londoño. David Lopez. Stephen Louie. Najina Louie. Donald Lucien. Asif Luckman. Taina Machakodi. Hemawadi Madane. Norbert Magda. John Mahadio. Damian Maharaj. Anurag Mangla. Davina Manichan. Junior Marin. Kenny Marcus. Franklin Martinez. Madeline Martinez. Anthony Martinez Echeverria. Annabelle Martinez Franco. Mazarul Marzan. Angelica Mathis. Chris Mayansella. Yoeli Meyer Keen. Kalida Mazil. Brianne McKenzie. Nailani McLaughlin. David Medina. Amber Madrano. Karina McNoth. Mohammed Mehmood. Emily Mejia. Alexandria Mejia Martinez. Ana Mendoza. Virginia Mendoza. Ryan Marino. Johnny Miller. Jason Mohammed. Dylan Mohammal. Natasha Mora. Ana Morales. Emily Morales. Gabrielia Motain. Abdo Mozan. Jalixa Muentes. Zachary Muniz. Brian Munoz. Jordana Munoz. Zaya Murray. 
Elizabeth Nand Kumar, Javid Narain, Chira Narontandeo, Felipe Nazario, Dana Olmo. Also Muyimen Omorogbe Akpata Lisbeth Ortiz Nobby Pollock Sarita Polanian Astrid Palma Kevin Papasso Vinay Parmasar Angel Pasqual Amari Patterson Rajiv Paul Yaniel Peña Jadelin Peña Brandon Perez Kevin Perez Ashlyn Perez Ortiz Ashley Prasad Basanti Prasad Karan Prasad Simone Prasad Shayna Prasad Sonia Prasad Yamona Prasad Christian Petty Kelman Joshua Pierre Frederick Placencia Gerald Placencia Sahara Pokrell Cindy Polanco Laura Polanco Sumnat Prashad Arash Preet Jada Price Amelia Puran Darius Purvis Dominic Caranto Amber Ragu Tennyson Ragubir Mabubur Rahman Mubashira Rahman Kwazi Azizur Rahman Quasi Waliur Rahman Tanzila Rahman Hema Rambaran Alexander Ramirez Nadine Ramjawan 
Alicia Ramkumar. Eliana Ramos. Kevin Ramos. Lalini Ramatar. Navita Ramutar. Romesh Ramsarup. Talha Rana. Jamal Reed. Erica Reyes. Samuel Reyes. Jason Richardson. Kathleen Riera. Zahin Riti. Kimberly Rivas. Jonathan Rivera. Ulysses Rivera. Reese Roberts. Sierra Robinson. Christopher Rodriguez. Lindines Rodriguez. Kevin Rudnot. Aruna Rupchand. Kelly Rupnarin. Yaneli Rosario. Mark Sakta. Sabir Saif. Rodrigo Salas. Joseph Salazar. Alitza Salcedo. Mohammed Salem. David Saliche. Farhan Salman. Naomi Sampson. Brahmanam Sanchara. Anthony Sanchez. Edwin Sanchez. Franklin Sanchez. Jason Sanchez. Justin Sanchez. Iron Sanguil. Nicholas Sanichar. Trevor Sanichar. Jasmine Santa Maria. O'Brien Seaforth. Ashanti Seely. Renisha Seelal. Awese Sewe. Rebecca Sunarin. Mayor Shabab. Dure Shawar. 
Anisha Sheriff. Paulden Sherpa. Kyle Sihara. Nasira Sims. Amandeep Singh. Amisha Singh. Anmol Singh. Anmol Preet Singh. Brittany Singh. Dennis Singh. Dilpreet Singh. Gordan Singh. Hemraj Singh. Jaspal Singh. Karandeep Singh. Manmeet Singh. Manpreet Singh. Priyam Singh. Tajinder Singh. Shania Singleton. Christian Sergio. Jafari Small. Desiree Smith. Simone Smith. Yamil Solano. George Solis. Priyana Sukdeo. Umwati Suklal. Sherry Sukulal. Banmati Sukra. Deasia Strickland. Adriana Suarez. Narsaya Subramani. Emily Sudhai. Elijah Suds. Kalia Suds. Boguachi Sukdeo. Stephanie Sukdeo. Christina Suko. Narissa Suresh. Baloya Silla. Calvin Tam. Angel Tapia. Adnan Tariq. Lisbeth Taveras. Makia Taylor. Calden Tenzin. Chrissy Thomas. Kavita Thompson. Ruben Toledo Para. 
Reynaldo Torres. Davina Toussaint. Sebastian Trejos. Marston Trotz. Gauravi Tolsian. Nylik Turner. Godswill Utiankpan. Juan Valencia. Isaac Valerio. John Valerio. Jennifer Van Oss Steiner. Donna Vargas. Adrian Vasquez. Kayla Vasquez. Luis Vasquez. Melissa Vasquez. Jade Vincent. Hamza Wahi. Ashley Walker. Dominique Welsh Gillespie. Olivia Witten. Shania Wiggins. Ebony Williams. Trayvon Williams. Brianna Wilson Gilchrist. Ethan Yang. Afroza Yasmin. Anissa Yassim. Naomi Young. Jose Sombrano. Samara Tulzana. Wasim Zokari. By the power vested in me by the Board of Regents of the State of New York and the Department of Education of the City of New York, I now declare you graduates of John Adams High School. Congratulations, Class of 2020.